A year ago, I got back from missions. I was with Youth with a Mission for about six months, and that was the first time I kind of went all into something, was going on Youth with a Mission. But then coming back, I didn't have a lot of finances, and I remember coming back, living with my parents, and I just remember thinking like, I don't know how everything's gonna work out, but we'll see what happens. So I came back and I was like, it's okay, I'll find a job, I'll apply to a job. So I started applying to so many jobs. And it was a very humbling experience because I applied, I think, over to like over 100 jobs. And I got rejected from every single one. And I remember getting my rejection email from Macca's and I was just like, Wow, that is humbling because it's definitely not what I was expecting coming back. And then I think it was the following week was when Heart for the House Sunday was. And I remember just thinking, oh, I just got back from missions. Like I won't be giving anything or I'll be giving a very small amount. So I went into Maxwell's and I remember I was standing at the back and I was holding the card. And I remember just thinking, yeah, like I'm just gonna give like a little bit. And immediately it was almost like, no, double that. So it went from giving like 10% to 20%. And I was like, oh, that's different. And I honestly was like confused if it was me or God. But then very quickly, I just remember knowing that it was supposed to be more than 20%. So quickly it jumped from giving only 20% to I think it was like 50%. And then immediately like the amount tripled and I was giving like, I think it was like 85, 80% of what was in my spendings. And I remember just being like, okay, so I'm pretty much giving everything. And I had so much peace about it. And the number just like, it was as clear as day that I was supposed to give that amount and I had so much peace with it, which was really cool because I didn't know you could experience like peace with giving. I feel like usually it's more like you receive like peace when you receive money but I was like this was my first time giving and having so much peace with it and before like I was tithing but it wasn't I would say out of excitement and expectancy and joy it was more out of I want to make this a habit and I want to like give back to God but this was probably my first time like joyfully giving back to the church what heart for the house has taught me is God doesn't want just like a little bit of our heart like he wants our whole heart and I remember just coming back and wanting to hold on so tightly to something that wasn't even mine and I remember just being in a posture of surrender and being like no god like this is yours and I remember just reflecting on like my heart as an image and just thinking that I don't want any bit of my heart to be for the for worldly things for the earth but I want it to be kingdom minded and kingdom focused and I remember hearing it as like gentle as a whisper, God just saying, now this is your mission field. I feel just so grateful that I get to know God and I get to live life with him, that the thought of not surrendering all my finances and holding onto worldly things over being obedient to him is a lot more scary than anything else. And it's been such a beautiful journey being able to be in a posture of surrender, give my all to God, but also just see what he's doing here in KW.